So good evening, friends, and welcome to another amazing episode of Inspiring Young Minds. And uh, as always, it's a pleasure to see all of you. Uh, can you believe uh, it's almost going to be around four months since we started Inspiring Young Minds? And I want to wish all the cooties a very, very, uh, uh, you know, happy uh, and prosperous uh, life ahead because it's because of all of you that we've been able to do this inspiring young mind. So a big round of applause to all you children on the other side. I'm so proud of you. And uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to, uh, you know, it's a festive time, right? So whenever there is festival, there is a lot of fun at home, lots of good food to eat. And uh, there's a lot of uh, merrymaking. In addition to praying God that all of us are safe and uh, let uh, everybody be happy. Correct? So today our topic is going to be festivals of India. And I'm going to tell you why we need to celebrate festival. What happens during festival? And uh, most importantly, uh, what you are going to learn out of all this. And last but not the least, uh, I'm sure many of you have got ready and uh, are going to present a lot for us. Many of you have also shared our recordings, so I'm going to add them at the end of the session and uh, we're going to see that uh, shortly and I'm super excited to all, uh, you know, to see all of you every Saturday and I want to thank all your parents, your grandparents uh, and all of them who are, uh, you know, being like a family trying to help you all and groom you all. So the first thing is I want to uh, keep on prayers. Uh, I know many children are not well right now. So I want to pray for all of them. And uh, I know God is going to, you know, shower his abundant blessings on all the children. And all of you are going to be safe. I know for sure about that. And uh, just uh, take care of your health. Drink lots of water and uh, eat good, healthy food and uh, sleep well and uh, be very happy children. Okay. So that's very important. Uh, I know you have lots to study. I know there is a lot of online classes. Uh, but nevertheless, enjoy life also. Have fun. Uh, and that is why we at Inspiring Young Minds, we try to bring some new, new things so that we can make you happy. Right? And uh, with those few words, I'm going to start sharing my screen. And we are going to uh, do a very important session today called Festivals of India. Okay. Okay, children. So we are at Inspiring Young Minds, a session 16. And our topic for today is going to be festivals of India. And I'm sure all of us love festivals, right? So let's see a lot of emotional con content of these festivals, why we celebrate festival and what happens in all these festivals, right? So what is a festival? A festival is basically when a lot of people gather in a place and celebrate and be very happy and it can denote any community or a religion, some religious uh, and her heritage beliefs, tradition, lots of them and various cultures also, right? And sometimes it can be just a one day celebration. Sometimes it is more than one day. And uh, many a times you also have holidays also for functions, right? And these festivals can either be religious. It can be something related to God or it can be national. National means it is related to the country, right? And uh, these festivals are very important because they represent our cultural and national identity of India. As we said, we are all talking about, uh, uh, you know, we are all talking about festivals of India. So it's very important for us to understand uh, that uh, we are uh, looking at a lot of things. Some festivals also bring people together and eliminate the differences we have in our society. That is also very important because sometimes uh, you fight with your friends or you fight with your family members and then you don't see them for a long time. But then when a festival comes, you all get together and you forget all those bad feelings. When you feel sad, when you're angry with somebody or upset with somebody, there is a lot of going inside your heart also, right? You're not happy, correct? So all that also goes away and you're very happy and 
you know very um, satisfied when you meet your friends and family and then you know you break all those differences celebrations on the other hand actually happen with a reason or a purpose now when i say it's a birthday party i mean it's a celebration because that is a birthday for one particular person or a wedding anniversary so that is also a celebration now that happens for a particular husband and wife or amma and appa and that is a celebration but festivals on the other side they are very special they are significant occasions and you have a specific time or a date or something allotted for that festival mostly when you hear you will say like if it is eid then you want to see whether the moon has come right and uh, otherwise they try to take a calendar and see if the function is there so that is very important when it is a festival for a celebration you don't have to see all this this can happen any particular day we are, as an in india we have a lot of religions we have a lot of cultural uh, variety and that is why if you see india celebrates a lot of festivals most of the festivals when i tell the names you will say yes i celebrate that right so what are the important festivals if you remember it is diwali which is going to come then you have holi you have dasara you have ramadan you have eid ul fitr you have christmas you have ganesh chaturthi just went few days back and then you have durga puja and navaratri lots of them right so navaratri is a nine day festival whereas if you look at christmas it's just a one day festival so it depends it depends in communities it depends in families how they actually celebrate all these festivals in india we witness a lot of fun and lot of uh, enjoyment uh, with each festival because each festival has a significance and it gives you some kind of a mood they also help you create some special moments and you feel very happy you think about what you did last festival at the same time or you think about the people you met or the food you ate because each festival there is a special kind of a food they make and it also helps us think and relate to our tradition some families follow a particular kind of a, you know a belief and that is very important because it adds structure to our social well being and our social lives and it also talks about our families our family values and the background with which we come from so both region and national events when you look at it india has the most number of festivals in asia that is why i took the topic of festivals in india because when you look at festivals in general all over the world there are so many festivals but when you look at it in particular with india itself in asia we are the country which has the maximum number of regional and national events so when we divide or when we are try to classify the festivals they are classified into religious festivals art festivals food and drink festivals and seasonal and harvest festivals why seasonal and harvest because india is an agricultural country right it's a developing country we have lots of farmlands and that is why we love our farmers because they are the ones who toil on the soil and give us the food to eat and that is why we fest we celebrate harvest festivals also so when you think about a festival you can understand there are many elements in the festival right nowadays they think about community festival so they organize some events they organize some competitions and then the media you will see a lot of advertisement related to the festivals then you will have a lot of banners put everywhere that the festival is coming you have a kind of uh, you know celebrations everywhere then there is some local and regional cultural uh, event also and some functions are only in one particular community this festival also increases the local economy because everybody is buying now imagine if it's diwali or some festival like that you want to buy new clothes you want to buy something new some people buy jewelry so it varies from people to people and 
also sometimes you decorate you put some pandal and something like that and you know you do it so extravagantly and uh, many of them sponsor for these events also and there are many artists so that because it's a cultural and a creative art like you did puppetry last time many of them uh, make clay models or they make paper mesh models of gods huge huge cutouts and so it gives a lot of livelihood to a lot of artists also so we need to understand that festival actually brings a lot of cheer in people's minds it makes people very happy so we in india have three national festivals first is the independence day now i'm sure all of you would remember the independence day we just had it last month right august 15th next is the republic day republic day happens on 26th of january and now in a few days time we are going to have gandhi jayanti that is going to be october 2nd so these are the three main national festivals and i'm sure all of you would have gone to school in independence day or republic day they did a salute to the national flag there would be unfurling of the flag and then you'll all be wearing nice crisp white clothes with a flag on your uh, chest all this gives us a nice feeling right children and other than this you also have other national festivals like children's day i'm sure all of you will be very excited right because november 14th we all celebrate chacha nehru or uh, pandit jawahar lal nehru's birthday as children's day because he loved children and he always used to wear a rose on his dress and uh, he used to love children right then we also commemorate the martyrs day which is 30th january and also teachers day which just went by on 5th of september and that is also very important so these are the various national festivals and uh, this is also very important to celebrate now what happens during festivals they basically unite people and they come together with one sole purpose and what is that sole purpose celebrating and being happy with friends right most of the festivals if you see they embrace religion and culture many of the festivals they don't say you are a hindu you are a christian you are a muslim they don't divide they are all of them celebrate and that is very important and sometimes you know life is so boring right and when you have a festival suddenly everything becomes very nice so it is also helpful in breaking the monotony of life so that is very very important so look at it how colorful it is right and this is very important and festivals also act as stress relievers whenever you are happy then you feel very nice you keep smiling you also balance your emotions there is more positivity which naturally lowers all the negativity in the uh, universe so even during this pandemic when we started celebrating festivals if not like before but at least at the house we felt very happy during those days right we were thankful to god that we are safe we were praying that others also should be safe and all this is very important next it provides an opportunity to reduce the friction also i told you know many a times you fight with friends or you in your own locality you will be playing and then you will fight with some uh, cousins of yours and you might fight with some relatives also but when festival comes you forget all of that and you want to again make up you want to be together and nothing brings people together like festivals so it's very important and looking at the pictures itself you can feel how happy they are right how enjoying they are at that moment they are really having fun that is exactly what we also want festivals also teach us something about our neighbors so imagine it is a uh, function so and you are not celebrating but your other uh, friend is celebrating then it uh, helps you understand them it also strengthens relationship because they come and give you some sweets or some goodies to eat and they foster some kind of a community pride uh, nowadays there are lots of buildings right so there are a lot of apartments and uh, these apartments will have various uh, people from various religions and culture 
here. So imagine every festival, all of them will come together and they will uh, start celebrating. And this is very important because uh, many times they are dressed up in a particular way. They'll dress up in a traditional attire and they all of them together will get uh, participate in the events. So it brings about kind of a brotherhood, right? They uh, enjoy and uh, they showcase their uh, clothes. So even if you are not belonging to that religion, you will still wear. I'm sure you all must be thinking about Onam also, where everybody will wear a white dress and then all come and put a poo kolam that they say, and then they all have a sadhya food. So this is what it is. So each festival will bring the flavor of the festival along with it. And then what happens? So you've dressed up, you've cooked food, you've made the God get ready, and then you've finished praying. And then what do you do? You always take pictures, right? Why do you take that? You're creating your own memories. So uh, many a times you'll have your grandparents visiting you or your uncle and auntie visiting you. And then you'll all want to stand together and click pictures. And you want to create nice memories of the festivals, right? And uh, you also uh, go to your friends' houses and uh, there also you will be playing or, uh, you know, having fun. And that is also very important as you create this kind of an experience. And uh, sometimes... Uh, Whenever you go to your cousin's house and their friends come over, you will also have a chance of making new friends. So it also brightens or it also widens your uh, friendship. And that is also very important. Most of the times today, uh, schools and workplaces also have started celebrating festivals. So in school also, sometimes they will say Diwali, you all wear your Diwali dress and come. Why? Because they want to boost your well-being and they want to tell that it's a true milestone. And it's like an everyday win when you think about these kind of festivals, right? And uh, it also gives a kind of an overall attitude an attitude for gratitude, which means you want to be thankful to God and you want to be thankful that you are able to enjoy. Sometimes you also see people who don't have the money or the kind of dress you have and you want to keep sharing. So many a times uh, you will prepare some food and give it to those people uh, who are not able to afford that. So when you celebrate such festivals, you're actually changing your mindset. You want to help each other. You want to uh, make the other person feel nice employees uh, you know get some bonus from their employers and uh, you know there is a kind of fun and uh, sometimes you will have a lot of uh, games played and everybody enjoys that and uh, sometimes you know there will be people who are singing or dancing during festivals or celebrations so you can bring out your creative talent also so all this is very important especially when you are looking at festivals right so at Inspiring Young Minds, what do we do? We try to help you all actually bring out the best of yourselves. We to improve your creative side. And uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to make each of you uh, talk about a festival you like a lot, right? So let's do that. And you can like, share, subscribe and also comment and press the bell icon of our YouTube channel. It is called Team Red Rockstars, Dr. Vidya Smile Dental Clinic. So I want all of you to be a part of it. You subscribe to it and also you say how you liked that session. If in case you missed it or again, sometimes when you are seen in the uh, video, you want to see it again and again or share it with your friends also. You can tell that to your friends and relatives and bring more of them when you come for the next session. So today the activity is going to be share about the festival you like and you celebrate. Why? Because India is known as a country of festivals and it's a secular country and we have a number of festivals and let's learn more about them from the children themselves, right? So I'm sure all of you are getting ready for your November 13th and 20th uh, celebrations. We will be posting things today and I want all of you to uh, get ready because we wanted to give you two months of, uh, uh, you know, preparation time. And we also have a toy drive and I told you to collect all your toys and your books so that you can share it with children uh, who might not have these uh, privilege and uh, you will also be happy gifting it to them and they'll also be happy taking it from you all.
right? Uh, this is Vidya Aunty and my number is 9840176088. And we also have Savita Aunty uh, and Savita Aunty's number is plus 4917256459646. So with that, we come to the end of today's presentation and I'm going to stop my sharing. And yes, so I'm ready to see all of you. Let's see if you all switch on your videos and tell me who wants to go first today at, uh, you know, the session. So tell me who wants to do it first. Can I do it, Mom? Yes, Mahek, you want to do it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, come on. Uh, switch on your video so I can pin you on. Is my video visible, ma'am? Yes, you're looking very beautiful also. Thank you, ma'am. Good yes, morning. I'm, uh, good evening. I'm Mahek and I'm going to tell about Ramadan. Ramadan, um, Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. Lasting from 30 days from which fasting is celebrated from sunrise to sunset. According to Islam, it is believed that Prophet Muhammad uh, invented the Quran on the month of Ramadan. So we celebrate Ramadan. Eid al-Fitr is the marketing of the end of Ramadan. During this month of Ramadan, we prepare large amounts of food to give it to the charity and the poor people so they can also celebrate. We celebrate this festival with family and our friends and we celebrate it with giving gifts, sharing love and happiness. Islam teaches us to, uh, to practice self-control, self-discipline, uh, self empathy and sacrifice. Thank you. Awesome! Mahek, you were such you, a man. darling. My God, you did it so beautifully. You prepared all this. By yourself, Mahek? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. And who dressed you up? Who dressed Mahek up today? Thank you, ma'am. Who dressed you? Amma? Oh, yes, my mom. So sweet. You look very cute today. Very beautiful. Thank proud you, of you, Mahek. Very proud of you. Thank very you. Very nice. So much, very nice. Very good. So who's the next person coming up? So we learned about Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr from Mahek. So, okay. Who's the next person? Sukrita, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. So I'm going to add you. Yes. Yes, Sukrita. Switch on your audio. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Sigurda. And uh, today, now I am going to tell about the festival Onam. Onam is a national festival of Kerala. The Azura King uh, named Mahabali, a great land prophet, who did a lot of charity and also he was gone got all the free words. He would give anything to her for charity without expecting anything back. Seeing this, the other gods and goddesses feel jealousy and complain to Lord Mahavishnu. He went to Mahabali in the form of Vamana. Then he asked Mahabali for three seeds of land as charity. Mahabali accepted the request and allowed Vamana to take three feet of land. After that, Vamana started growing into a huge size of universe. He landed his feet on sky, first feet on sky, then on earth. There was no place to uh, put the third feet. So the king Mahabali offered his head for the third step. Lord Mahavishnu pushed him down to Padar. And also, Mahabali was allowed to come to see the, his Prajas on the day of Sirvanam in the month Singham, Singham every year. This is the myth behind Ona. And we also celebrate this day by making flowering carpets or flowering. Uh, we call it Atta Pooh. 
and by making on fees by wearing on a kodi onyal like that etc ma'am i would like to share my screen can you please make me the host? yes yes i will i'll help you share the screen i have to make you the host but then you will have to make me the host back again okay okay i made you the host now Ma'am, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see also your screen. Yeah, I can see. It's a, uh, it's a. We call it Vilak. It's very simple music. Very nice. This is called Atta Kukala. Sorry. Lovely. You make it with flowers and leaves, which grow in your house, right? Yes. Hmm. Very nice. So my family picture. Lovely, lovely. And uh, this is called Unya, right over here. That's all. Lovely to see your family, your grandma, your brothers, all of them. Very nice. Very nice, Suprita. very very nice you spoke about the story behind onam also and uh, you shared some family mm -hmm. pictures also and uh, very nice okay. very very Thank good you. okay so anybody else who wants to share today i know many of you have sent me the videos and i'm going to uh, add it on to this uh, presentation and uh, before i post it and i'm super excited Uh, because adra sent me about christmas and narain and nivedini have also sent me and uh, it's so nice to know that uh, you know children have taken one step forward and uh, they want to uh, do uh, something more uh, especially when you are uh, doing it uh, and uh, so happy to see our children being uh, so receptive to all these because you know sometimes we find uh, children like you know they say we don't want all these old uh, kind of uh, uh, tradition we want only modern clothes and all right but uh, i'm so proud of you children because uh, you're all celebrating uh, your uh, cultural uh, festivals and uh, celebrations and you know the story behind it and uh, it is so uh, so very nice i mean you know uh, when you know that the next generation is very happy doing it Uh, especially when you do this pukkolam and all it is like you know all of you sit and uh, arrange the flowers and it is so nice it brings about a lot of uh, uh, oneness in the family right and uh, like mahek said when you make the biryani and then when you take it and when you uh, give it to everybody and when they say it was very nice uh, it really makes you feel happy and when you want to thank god that you know he has given you so much of things that you can be thankful for right and we pray that uh, uh, his blessings on us continues for a longer time right and uh, we also want to pray for all those people who are not so lucky or not so fortunate at this point of time like we are so we should also play like a you know a leveling uh, area where we need to thank god and we also need to understand the art of gifting or the art of giving to people so uh, there is much more happiness uh, than the art of taking right uh, you are very happy when somebody gives you gifts right similarly you should also be a person who gives gifts to others so i am so proud of all of you my dear kutis and uh, wishing you all the best in life uh, i chose this topic uh, especially because from uh, now onwards you're going to have lots of festivals coming and uh, i'm sure you all are going to enjoy all the festivals you will want to take nice pictures and create memories for yourself and uh, you know spread the kind of happiness uh, to all the people you know and that is very important because uh, as children uh, you know you can really brighten up people's lives and i'm confident that all of you are going to make that happen right so take care have a great weekend and uh, be blessed love you all love you take care
Lovely Mahek and lovely Suprita. I loved your presentations. Lovely. Thank Love you, you children. Love you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Aruhi. Thank you. I got to talk about Pongal. Um, it's celebrated in January. Um, it's the farmer's festival. It's India. It's like the sun. Bye! Hello, my name is Devna. And today I'm going to be talking about Diwali. Diwali is one of the important festivals in India. It is celebrated most by Hindus. It is a celebration of life. On Diwali, we decorate our house with lots of lights and we crack lots of bonfires. One of my favorite parts. We make lots of sweets and share it with everyone. I feel so happy then. After we've decorated the house, we wear special clothes and we pray to the goddess Lakshmi the goddess of wealth. We pray for her for a better future. Thank you.